Coming up on one lap to go, presented by Credit One Bank. Seven corners, two and a half miles. Chase Elliott must remain perfect. A smooth turn one, and then the most important climb, 54 feet up the S's. He must be perfect. This is for all the marbles here at Watkins Glen. The crowd and the S's have come to their feet. Chase Elliott up the hill for the final time this afternoon. Looks in the rear view mirror. Four car lengths of separation. Chase Elliott leads the way up the back straightaway for the final time. Like he has time and time again, he has a decent lead on Turex coming into the braking zone here. What, if anything, can Turex do differently? He charges into this inner loop within a car lead, the car lead and a half. Can he maintain that on exit? Not so much. Back to three car lengths. He charges again into the carousel. There's just nothing he can do about how good this nine car is getting out of the corner. Chase Elliott has been perfect on these last 20-some laps. Just done a great job. Two more corners left. Don't overdrive. Six. Hit your marks. Truex trying to make ground on him. Chase Elliott driving away. Coming into turn seven, the final turn. The 23-year-old from Dawsonville got his first win at this racetrack and has been dominant today. He's going to win again at the Glen. Great job, Brown. Great strategy. 80 laps led today of a 90-lap race. Won the pole. Gets his second win this season. What an impressive run Chase Elliott has put together. Yeah, and this, this really has become his best racetrack. I didn't think he could repeat or even improve on last year's performance. Those closing laps were so breathtaking. But Martin Truex Jr. held him to perfection again today. Never more than a second. Never more than six or eight car lengths off his rear bumper. Chase Elliott, lap after lap, corner after corner. A perfect final fuel run here at the Glen. You know, we mentioned the 80 laps led. That's the second most laps led here ever by a driver. So Chase Elliott really put on an incredible performance for everyone as he's going to do a little celebration right here in front of his dad. That's pretty cool. And you remember last year, he ran out of fuel. Ran out of gas trying to get back to celebrate in front of the 48 of Jimmy Johnson had to push him back. This victory fueled by Sunoco. Looks like he's going to have enough today. Fuel your best. Dale Jr. mentioned it earlier in the week. He said, when you come back to where you got your first ever win, I think it was during qualifying, you instantly feel great. Well, this is, as you mentioned, it definitely become his best track. Jr., what a confident drive. Joins an impressive list, too. Mark Martin, Jeff Gordon, Tony Stewart, one of the best on road courses, and Marcus Ambrose. And now Chase Elliott has added his name to the list, and Mr. H is going to celebrate with him this time. Saw Rick Hendrick walking his way to victory lane. And will this be burnout number three? It's just an aggressive parking job. I was impressed. <laughs> I like how he spun it around, facing his crew. He'll climb out, and once again, the fans appreciate that performance. Win number two in 2019. Talladega was the first win he got this year. <laughs> you just heard him ran out of gas again.